Matota hey can we to me he Kia Scotty Morrison I think you guys would know him if I was to turn this around to show you what he looks like I oh, he is the host of Takarere I hunuku mai ia ki konei i Iraq he rua te kautau ki muri ai nae nei ko timata ki te ako i te reo Māori and so I give a big thank you to him for this awesome tanga uh, koya ke akoi Scotty Morrison, you are just amazing. This is such a gem. Um, I've act- it was actually one of the resources that Tawananga gave us during the year, but because they gave us, like for example, all these other amazing uh, resources, um, I think I've showed you in other videos all of these amazing resources, um, I didn't actually get a chance to get through to this one. But now that um, it's summer and I've finished the year and I have to wait all the way to Atera go to Terangi, which is next March, to do uh, the year, you know, year two, um, I found that working through this is actually helping me uh, not forget and keep on practicing and learn actually new things. I'm still at page Onotako Ma Iwa, but it goes all the way into the 300s, so it will give me plenty of time to go through it. Um, you'll be so surprised about what you can understand um, because it's so easy, so straightforward, gives you such good insight, even if you don't have a kayako. Like, for example, I don't have a kayako right now, and this is basically my kayako. <laughs> this is my teacher. Um, it teaches you how to do everything that you can. It's basically called Māori Made Easy. So you can just follow. And you'll be um, you'll be surprised what you can understand after a while. Like here it says, So that for Māoritia could be whakapakihatia, which is translated into English, or it could be like saying, to negate a sentence, so it could be saying, whakakahoritia. Um, and you actually start understanding because the questions are relatively the same. It's just the exercises that change. And so, like in the beginning days, you could probably have looked at that and said, "What?" is going on here but not anymore because by the time you get to this page you've already gotten quite a solid basis of what you're doing and you actually really do understand what you're reading um, understanding on paper is actually the first step to if you can recognize it on paper uh, because you can take it slow see when you read you can read and actually think about it um, whereas in a dialogue you don't have that time you just have to say it so this is actually the first step to being able to hold a dialogue and understand what people are saying and in return being able to respond to it. So I'm happy chipping away at this all the way until the very end. Um, and yeah, I can't wait till next year. I can't wait till my second year learning Te Reo Māori. It's been extremely painful to say goodbye to this year. But then again, you know, everything comes to an end and we can still keep going. As long as we keep going, don't be embarrassed to kōrero. Uh, don't don't stop learning. So once you stop, you rust. So don't ever do that. Don't be um, embarrassed to use it in public. Uh, slowly, slowly, people will this will become normal. So I'm getting looks and stares all the time using my te reo Māori and you know putting it in everyone's faces all the time. And I know people sometimes might frown upon that, but you know, tough, too bad. Uh, this is, it started, this journey has started. Yeah, this is just my tip. If you guys can get access to this book, um, I'm sure it's readily available everywhere. Get your hands on it. It's awesome. And uh, once again, Nga uh, Nui Kia Scotty Morrison uh, for this taonga. And yeah, hopefully one day I can meet you in person. Pumari everyone. And ka kiteau Aterawa. I'm not going to see a man.